Hey Aries and welcome back to another video with me. We're going to do your mid-monthly, which is um, served for the soul. Just a second. Okay, sorry about that. I'm going to jump right in to the serve for the soul messages we have for Aries. God, universe, angels, spirit, guides, and ancestors. What serve for the soul messages do we have for Aries? What messages do we have for Aries that will be good for the highest purpose and good at this time? What messages for Aries that will be good for them to know for their highest and greatest good and purpose at this time? Thank you. Okay, here we go. Got truth be told on the bottom with observer and soulmate. Co-create. Okay, so somebody could be feeling like you're a soulmate of theirs. You have some type of soulmate connection. They've been observing you and they want to tell you the truth. They want to co-create. This is how you're feeling about somebody. Okay, so the first card out that we got is um time. A time for a nap. Libra got that right there. Chop wood. This is ground in the situation. Happy, happy. Yen. So I feel like whoever the feminine energy is of the, this connection, I feel like the masculine energy is going to be happy too, but I feel like the feminine is going to be really happy because the masculine is coming in and taking over. He's telling her, hey, you take a rest, you rejuvenate. I'm going to ground the situation. I'm going to carry the load. It's going to make her very happy. She's putting the leg up. He's going to carry the load. She's going to just chill out and let him do some work. This is how he's seeing it. Okay, so let's see about it. This is how she's seeing it and he's seeing it. Sorry about the sex, y'all. Just It's fluid. He, she, boy, girl, flip it if it's wrong. I apologize in advance. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tell me about time for a nap. Why is this here for Aries? <clears throat> Excuse me. Time for a nap. Why is time for a nap here for Aries? Tell me about time for a nap. Tell me about time for a nap for Aries. Strength card reverse, emperor reverse. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Somebody, the emperor has not been taking charge of the connection. Possibly for reasons of control or other reasons, but no, no matter the reason, he's not been taking charge of this connection right here. The hierophant, the spiritual connection. I do feel like that's changing though, because he's re, he's he's just surrendering with the strength card reverse. Something happens. He's closing the cycle where he wants to be alone or he wants you to be alone. Something happened here. I don't know what happened with him, but his perception is different. He's he's surrendering to this connection. And he's coming in and he, the reason he's giving you taking all he's taking on all responsibilities because he feel like he didn't take charge in the connection in the past where he should have. Okay. Yeah, he got he won't be loyal. I feel like you've been loyal. Somebody, something like that. Something about the strength reverse. Why is the strength for a reverse here? Yeah, because somebody was trapped in their mind and it could have been from fear. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Don't have to be. But somebody was trapped in their mind and now they're surrendering. They're sorry and they want healing. They want balance. They're standing up and fighting for this love and this connection. Tell me about chop wood here. Why is chop wood here for Aries? The Queen of Wands. The Knight of Wands. So somebody sending you communication about some type of ending that took place and a new beginning that they want to take place on destiny. Okay. They're trying to ground the situation. What I feel like the Queen of Wands. So I feel like it's the feminine energy of the situation. You're making a decision to, to try to work together, to bring in some type of stability, some type of 
um, compromise, some type of collaboration, some type of working together. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. I feel like somebody's trying to fix the situation where somebody was viewing them as the Knight of Wands. Yeah, or maybe they was the Knight of Wands at one point when it was low vibrational. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Don't have to be, but they're trying to move forward, forward past that moment and have victory here in this connection. Tell me about happy, happy. I do feel like it's going to make the feminine energy very happy here. I feel like you make them happy, they make you happy. Y'all both happy, double happy. One more happy. King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Or have that in their chart. Somebody could be dealing with a Leo. But I do feel like this honest conversation that takes place is going to make somebody very happy. Because it, Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. And also the Queen of Cups. Somebody was very discontent with what was taking place and was ready to cut it out. Making a head over a heart decision about it. But now that this person is coming in, I feel like that makes this yin energy very happy. Because she don't really want to cut it out. But she was about to. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Yeah, somebody went through some type of painful ending here that they had to heal from. But they do want this victory and they do got a lot of love in, for this connection. Could be dealing with an air sign. Could be an Aquarius. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Leo. So, but I do feel like this makes this the yin energy very happy. Tell me about yin. The feminine energy gets really happy about this. And she don't have to do it. Like, her foot is up. Because the person's like, let me just take over. Yeah, she's really happy because she was about to walk away. She didn't want to walk away, but she was going to because it was emotionally unfulfilling for her. But she much preferred to reconcile. But it was too much drama. So, she kept to herself the victory and the feeling she had as well. Something about the Eight of Cups for the Yin energy. You know, somebody's dealing with a Libra. Somebody did walk away from the Libra. And now this Libra's coming back. Yeah, they walked away from this Libra because it was too much heartbreak. Even though their intuition was telling them that the Libra was going to come reconcile, I don't think they actually believed it until it was actually here because they was dealing with a person who was known for not speaking how they truly feel. Known for not wearing their heart on their sleeve. Known for being deep to connect. I mean, hard to get in there and connect with because they're not known for expressing themselves like that. So she had, she she didn't want to, but head over heart, she had to cut this out because it was leaving her in the cold unless somebody do something. So well, what happens is somebody's doing something because they really don't want her to walk away. So what they're doing, excuse me, is coming in to give her a leg up, taking over, taking charge like they're supposed to. So even though she may have wanted to, to, to stay and reconcile, her intuition was telling her we need to walk away at this time and cut this out because it's become too burdensome for us to hold. So I'm not the <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I already clarified that. <coughs> anyway. Somebody walked away from a Libra. Or somebody walked away from a water sign who did not express they, they feelings that good. They were too logical. Some about a leg up. And this person's about to be all in their feelings when they come back. Yeah, seven of cups. They might even feel like you got options now. King of Pentacles reverse. This person felt like they were selfish. And they maybe they feel like they were selfish and had options that kept you waiting on this brand new passion in the beginning. And now they want to fix that. Damn, they on this ain't see? King of Pentacles. Look, Queen of Queen of Cups. King of Pentacles reverse. What's this? Ain't nothing more attractive than a man who takes some accountability. Tell me about this King of Pentacles reverse. The four of Pentacles. Somebody was selfish. Somebody held back. Somebody caused a lot of anxiety. And that's what got them cut out. 
And now that very same person is trying to bring in a new energy and work on it. Could be a Libra. Could be a, a Earth sign energy. But somebody had no clue. They was confused and selfish. Holding back. Bucking themselves over from a brand new passion to begin. And now they want that. Now they want that. So let's get something else out here. guys and ancestors what other syrupy soul messages do we have to give to the sign of aries what messages can we give to the sign of aries that will be good for the highest good and purpose at this time messages for aries at this time what messages do we have to give to aries ten of swords death card High Priestess Judgment. I feel like something's ending for it to, re, to, to rebirth. I don't know if it's ending between you and another or another and another. But something's being transformed. Something that was injured. Or something that was painful. Okay, so let's see what we got. The Chariot. The World. The Nine of Wands. The Eight of Swords. The Hermit and the Four of Swords. Could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Libra, a Pisces. But I do feel like somebody's wanting to move forward here and have a victory after closing a cycle here. A cycle that made them guarded, trapped in their mind. And now that they deeply reflected and healed from it, they want to kind to address the situation in a different manner. Tell me about this Chariot energy here for Aries. Why is the chariot here? Yeah, somebody's been healing. Look, somebody's been healing. And through that healing, they get a perspective. The emperor. It could be you, Aries. Somebody's been healing. And through that healing, they gain a new perspective with the page of swords. And that the perspective changes how they move, make choices and decisions. And they now want that reconciliation. They now want that reconciliation because they've been healing. So tell me about this, the world card. This is also something coming full circle. Yeah, there's the King of Pentacles again in a not-so-selfish manner. Yep, trying to go in for the Empress. Yeah, because he wants to stand up and defend Union. He wants to be honest about what he wants to invest in and how he feels about this Empress. She fulfills his wishes. She's wish fulfillment. Let me be truthful. Tell me about this Ace of Swords here for Aries. What's the Ace of Swords? Tell me you can have Earth in your chart or be dealing with an Earth sign. I do feel like somebody's going to be taking the leap of faith to express some type of love. Could be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I don't have to be. But um, I do feel like they're going to be going out on the limb here, taking the leap of faith. Because as before, they wanted to find balance and they want to have something stable. But they allowed their ego to get in the way. So they're speaking the truth about that. About why they were guarded and why their ego was up. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Tower reverse to the Five of Swords. Somebody wanted to avoid a tower. So they were guarded, but I feel like they realized that that was a bad decision. And that's why they're communicating. That's why they're sending in messages, love messages, giving messages, being nice, being loving, <clears throat> being kind. But they ultimately want to have a cup of love and an equal give and take with you. They're realizing that instead of avoiding you like a tower, they should have been giving you all they got. Tell me about the tower reverse. Or this is you realizing that. Yeah, the tower reverse. I feel like they was trying to avoid a disaster. But that didn't work out because all that happened was they kept their feelings to themselves and now they're feeling left out in the cold, facing an ending with you, and their intuition is still nudging at you. So they don't know how to 
Queen of Cups. They don't know what to do, but come about this Eight of Swords. Somebody's all trapped in their thoughts. Why is this Queen uh, Eight of Swords here? Knight of Swords. Somebody's been contemplating if they're gonna tell you the truth or not. That's why the Knight of Swords spun around all like that. But they're gonna decide to tell the truth. They're gonna decide to tell the truth. The Emperor. He's going to decide to take charge and tell the truth about how he really feels in this connection. He wants to see it grow. He loves the person just as much as this person loves him. Could be a Sagittarius. Could be a um, Aries, a Taurus. Could be a Virgo. But this person loves this. It's a I love you and you love me. Even though this person has not expressed themselves with the King of Cups, they love this. They love just as much as you love, or you love just as much as they love. And they want to see it grow, or you want to see it grow. Tell them about the Hermit. Somebody had to deeply reflect to see what even makes them happy. Five, five, five on the clock. I do feel like major changes are headed your way here. Tell me about this hermit energy for Aries. Yeah, this, this is somebody that you walked away from, but they've been deeply reflecting on how they may have sabotaged what actually makes them happy. What the person that is actually supposed to be for them. Look at it. They may have sabotaged it for somebody else that broke their heart like a Queen of Pentacles. Don't have to be. I don't know why the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. I ain't gonna, somebody they married or committed to. Somebody that they had children with. Could have been a Leo. Could have been a Libra. But they, self, they sabotaged. Or, tell me about the Seven of Swords. I feel like they sabotaged the connection with you that would have made them happy. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah, that's a sabotaging energy. They sabotaged the equal give and take. They could have made them happy here. With the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Because now that they, they kept sabotaging, they become too heavy for the person. And the person put it down as burdens. Well, now this person got the nerve. The person that got put down like burdens got the nerve to want to want to heal they want to look at it in a whole new manner now they want to get on the same page have a victory and heal after this ending because they realize they don't want this they're not content with this but before they was confused and didn't know what was going on but now they're absolutely sure i feel like it could be a libra aquarius gemini don't have to be but i do feel like this person's been doing deep reflecting and that's how they come up with the fact that they want to bring healing into this connection Tell me about this Four of Swords energy for Aries. Why is the Four of Swords here for Aries? Tell me about the Four of Swords. Yep, it's because they want, like I said before, they want to get on the same page. Now that this is ending, no, we don't want it to end. We want to get on the same page. We want to bring in healing. We want to take a leap of faith because now this person's got a fire under their ass. This Libra Aquarius Gemini keeps popping up. Ten of Swords. Somebody's getting a little too comfortable being good on their own. Ten of Swords. So now he want to come and bring the little page to put with your nine and make a ten. So now y'all together. Yeah, page of Swords. So now this person ain't got no choice but to be confident, be strong, and do what they got to do for this connection. Bring in a new energy. Are you going to be out there? They feel like you're you going to be out there. Not not out there like that, but the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands. There's a lot of people out here lusting for you. Well, hello to hold on, have a relationship with you. Obsessed. They feel like you are popular. You got a lot of people out there who wanna want, will want to want you, and they don't want you to end up nobody else's. They don't want you to end up in the arms of new love. Yeah, so they got to get you in the calmer waters. And the only way to do that is leap. They out of options. Tell me about the fool card. Why is the fool card here? The ace of wands, the hangman. Yeah, they paused around and thought about it all they can. All they could afford to. Could be a Pisces, could be a Sagittarius. They paused to reflect all they could. They need to get in here and they need to find balance. They need to get on this path. It's become very important to them. Yep, looking at it, it's becoming painful. They need to manifest this. They they feeling regretful. They feeling bad. They need to manifest this. They need to make a decision to have a victory with this. Like it's like important to this person. Why is this hangman here? Yeah, 
because they, uh, somebody did, was dealing with a Capricorn. Somebody was in and out with it. Somebody was in this Knight of Wands energy with a Capricorn. The, the queen of a uh, relationship, though, like a commitment. That's clarifying the hangman. That was that's what was causing a blockage in this whole relationship because somebody was having a relationship here, being in and out of the connection and in and out of this relationship. Talking about the Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the King of Wands. That's why. Or in the past, a relationship failed and hurt your feelings when you did commit to this person right here. So now you're holding on to that. And it's causing you anxiety when it's time to take charge and take a leadership role when it comes to new love that has entered your life here. Somebody that is for you because you got somebody that wasn't for you. I mean, but you're healing. I'll just say continue to heal because that'll work out for you. Talking about the nine of swords, where's the anxiety coming from for you? Yeah, I feel like the being vulnerable, period, is the, where the anxiety comes in for you. Opening it up, being deep in feelings. The moon and the knight of cups. You you love this person and you got to go out here and open it up. You got to let it go with the ten of cups. I mean, ten of wands, you got to express it because this is destiny. You can't hold it back no more or you risk losing out. That's the only way you're going to get to put in work or you're going to get cut out. So you got to express you gotta be vulnerable. You gotta open up the the most deep, the most deep deep part to yourself that you didn't want to expose, but you're about to expose them. So that's what I got for you, Aries, and I do hope it helps. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I do hope you have a blessed one. Namaste.